prejudice reduction theory. Have you ever wondered why prejudice and discrimination persist in society? What can be done to reduce prejudice and promote equality among individuals and groups? Prejudice reduction theory offers valuable insights into understanding and addressing prejudice and discrimination. Let's explore the key principles of prejudice reduction theory, discuss its applications in various contexts, and provide compelling examples that illustrate its practical implications. Prejudice reduction theory seeks to explain the origins of prejudice and suggests strategies to reduce prejudiced attitudes and behaviors. It posits that prejudice is learned through socialization processes and is influenced by social norms, stereotypes, and intergroup dynamics. The theory emphasizes that prejudice is not inherent but is a product of socialization and can be modified through targeted interventions. One fundamental principle of prejudice reduction theory is the role of social norms. Social norms are the unwritten rules and expectations within a society or social group that guide behavior and influence attitudes. Prejudice reduction theory suggests that prejudice can be reduced by challenging and changing the social norms that support discriminatory beliefs and behaviors. For example, imagine a workplace where sexist jokes and gender-based discrimination are common. In this context, the prevailing social norms may perpetuate and reinforce sexist attitudes and behaviors. To reduce prejudice, interventions could focus on shifting these social norms by promoting respect, equality, and inclusivity in the workplace. This could include implementing policies that prohibit discrimination, providing diversity training, and fostering a culture of inclusiveness and acceptance. Another key component of prejudice reduction theory is the role of intergroup contact. The theory posits that increased contact between different social groups can reduce prejudice by promoting understanding, empathy, and positive attitudes towards outgroup members. Intergroup contact can challenge stereotypes, break down barriers, and foster positive relationships between individuals from different backgrounds. For instance, research has shown that intergroup contact programs in schools, neighborhoods, and workplaces can lead to improved attitudes and reduced prejudice. By bringing individuals from different groups together in structured and positive environments, these programs provide opportunities for interaction, shared experiences, and increased understanding, ultimately reducing prejudiced attitudes and fostering positive intergroup relations. Prejudice reduction theory has been applied in various contexts, including education, community interventions, and diversity training programs. In education, the theory form strategies to promote tolerance, respect, and multicultural understanding among students. It emphasizes the importance of inclusive curricula, cross-cultural exchanges, and creating supportive learning environments that challenge stereotypes and foster positive intergroup relations. In community interventions, prejudice reduction theory guides efforts to address prejudice and discrimination at the societal level. It involves initiatives such as public awareness campaigns, community dialogues, and grassroots movements aimed at challenging prejudice beliefs and promoting social justice. Furthermore, the theory informs the design and implementation of diversity training programs in organizations. These programs seek to increase awareness of unconscious biases, challenge stereotypes, and provide tools for creating inclusive work environments. By targeting individual attitudes and organizational policies, diversity training aims to reduce prejudice and discrimination within the workplace. Critics of prejudice reduction theory argue that it oversimplifies the complex nature of prejudice and may not adequately address structural and systemic forms of discrimination. They contend that individual-level interventions may not be sufficient to address deeply rooted biases and suggest the need for broader societal changes and policies to combat prejudice and discrimination. In conclusion, prejudice reduction theory offers valuable insights into understanding and addressing prejudice and discrimination. By focusing on social norms, intergroup contact, and targeted interventions, the theory provides strategies to reduce prejudiced attitudes and promote equality. Although it has its limitations, prejudice reduction theory and forms educational programs, community interventions, and diversity training initiatives, contributing to the collective efforts to create more inclusive and equitable societies.